Propping these pillows up to make it look like I'm here. Evan's coming in. In a new hiding spot, waiting a little bit longer. I think this is gonna work. Yeah, I see you there, you fuck. Oh, you're trying to pull a double on me, aren't you? You fucking dick. TJ. <laughs> How'd you get the door to move? You like that? How'd you do that? I set that up, bitch! I set that up big time! How'd you get the door to move? Don't you worry about it. Taking the GTR to HG Motorsports today. One, because there's a check engine light that I want to get rid of. And two, they're gonna convert the exhaust back to stock. And three, I'm gonna have them go over the car because they are certified technicians there. And I need to have the car inspected before the dealership takes it because this car is leaving in like a week. I knew I wasn't gonna keep this car for a very long time. I've had it for a little less than a year now. And I even told you guys that from the start. I'm gonna buy this car, own it for a year, and get rid of it. The reason why I'm getting rid of it, I wanna own as many fun cars as I can. And quite frankly, I just don't have room to have this and then keep getting other cars if that makes sense And with one really expensive car I can get like three cars that add up to the same price as this an example An X5M and then like an RX-7 and build it crazy I can always get another GTR which I honestly think I will at some point in my life get another one I just want to experience more things and I don't have room to hold on to this and get more cars It just it, I just don't have the room for that Gotta start training the new noob. Good morning, Kevin. Welcome to the office. If there's anybody who is most excited about the RX-7, it's Mickey. He just got here. He hasn't seen it yet. I'm just gonna film this reaction. I guarantee you he's gonna be super stoked when he sees it. Yeah. It's a little bit rough. It's rough in a good way. We get a black carpet kit, some black adjustables, and this thing will be perfect. So today's main objective is going to be getting the throttle cable hooked up on the car. I picked up the gas pedal from Kyle and he welded a little tab that we can connect the cable to. Now it's gonna be difficult because Dustin is back there learning to cut his fenders so it is loud as fuck in here. But we're gonna do our best to try and film as much as we can. And actually once we kind of- SHUT UP! Bitch, once we kind of lay it out, I'm actually gonna have Sabrina attempt to put it in. The reason being is her intake is coming in for her car here any day. And she needs some practice to work on some cars. As you can tell, she's thrilled and pumped and ready to go. She's dying to work on the car. Well, I was gonna have a monster to give myself some energy, but somebody threw it away. It was frozen. I eat it frozen. It's like a slushy. Yeah, well, yeah. Not when you leave it in there for a week. I mean, it didn't look good. It was like orange. I know. I hate it when she does that. We don't mind. I was like, what moron? It's okay. We put don't. Put their mind. monster in the freezer. For a cable, I literally just picked up this universal kit from AutoZone. For two day swap, I've seen people use various cables from other cars. Mickey said he had experience with a universal kit, so I just went, went ahead and picked that up. I mean, I said we just drill it right, see where the AC is? Yeah, but it, it's, gotta, it's gotta go down far. That might work. It this might, we might. We could potentially just drill straight through high. that again. This is the throttle cable. That's the throttle cable, because the gas pedal is connected to that. So when you push on this gas pedal right here, it does this motion. You see how that pulls? Uh-huh. This is connected to the gas pedal, so when you press down, it goes like this. It's gonna be connected. <laughs> We're gonna be connecting this. Okay. To this. So when that pulls, it's gonna rotate this back, and that is what controls our throttle, which is, is simply our pedal. Where does this thing go? We're gonna be putting this essentially like that. And we're also gonna be drilling a hole through the firewall to connect the cable to the pedal. Very straightforward, right? The intake's gonna be easier than this, right? Yes. Yep, so loosen it up. Okay, now you can screw that on. That part is pretty much done. And the next thing that we're gonna have you do, we need to drill through the firewall. I can do that. The cable is now marked where it meets the firewall. Now we just gotta cut it. Mickey is the cut man cutting up Dustin's car. Hey, can you cut this real quick? Why is one jack off arm Dustin handling the most? Because I can do things. I can do things with one arm. <laughs> now that it's cut, thread the cable. Dustin, start fucking cutting, bro. I don't think. 
This is extremely hard to film by myself, so I'm doing the best that I can. Since we have the throttle cable through the firewall and mounted on the actual throttle body, I've reattached Bro, nice the pet. I just ripped ass oh. on you twice. So I attached the pedal. Is a bitch to work on now that we have the dash back in, but I got those back in. I'm gonna try and give you guys a shot here so you can kind of get an idea. In the middle of the screen, you can see where we need to attach the string to that silver cap. Once that is connected, we will officially have a gas pedal working again. <laughs> I'm ripping. Drop it, bro. You just fart. I'm ripping ass. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you don't understand the way my body is contorted right now? Yeah. Real hard, bro. Yeah, you're gonna wanna tighten it with Real the hard. other angle of the Allen if you can reach. Beauty. Whoa. Yeah, give her. I don't know if it goes full time. Maybe the first one that. To... Oh! Give me that pull! Nice. Little throttle cable install. Did some minor cleanup here. Nothing worthy of showing, but the motor is slowly getting there. I'm hoping today to go home to find all my radiator stuff that I ordered so we can get that much closer to where we need to be. I called the tuner today and he did not answer, so I'm hoping he calls me back so we can schedule this thing and get it on the road as soon as possible. It'll be cool if you brought it to September 7, the thing. That was a nice plug, mate, but you kind of half-assed it. I don't know. I, I'm just saying. September 7th. September 7th, we're doing a meet and greet before the rally. We're going on the following day. HG Motorsports, 7 o'clock. It's the kickoff party for the Western Express rally we're going on. I'm going to be there. Calvin's going to be here. Everyone's going to be there. And a bunch of other YouTubers. Information down below if you want to go. September 7th, mark your fucking calendars. I'm done here, mate. I'm like, I've had a day and a half. I so go cut my toenails. What? Oh! I shouldn't show this. If anyone's into this kind of thing. It's not focusing, and I think it's because your feet are too ugly. Back up! How Do much it. is in there? Do it. Puck it. Go. Puck it. No, chase him. Go, go, Dustin, go! Fuck, <laughs> where's my water? Quit! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <My God. laughs> you won't do it. You out, homie. Ow! Hey! You're locking up, bitch! I'm out! I got my escape car up front. Adios, boys! Headed back to the warehouse pretty early this evening and I'm back at the house. Actually about to make some fried rice with Sabrina. I'm gonna start editing today's video and I got Jen and Julia Twitch up on the background. I keep talking about it, but I've recently like really become in love with the platform that is Twitch. Streaming while playing video games and hanging out with you guys. I really love that idea. So if you're not following my Twitch, it's in the description. It says follow me on Twitch. And I'm always live streaming on that at night. Like literally every night I'm on. So like you may not get a vlog for tomorrow. The past couple days I've been really feeling run down and kind of like overwhelmed with how much stuff is going on right now. Beyond the vlogs, there's a lot of stuff on the hunt quarter side and business side of that that like is taking up a lot of my energy that you guys aren't seeing on the vlog and also too with the hunt company with what's coming out soon. Like a lot of that I'm not showing on camera, I'm doing it off camera that you guys are not aware of for a purpose of course for the surprise effect when it does come out. I'm kind of personally feeling overwhelmed so I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off. I hate doing that, I hate not giving you guys something to watch every day but just expect nothing for tomorrow but if something comes out awesome sweet surprise but like i said expect nothing thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go enjoy the night have some fried rice i'll see y'all tomorrow peace out and keep moving forward I'm feeling